So here we are, and we've arrived at Livingston. Had to change at Brockenhurst, get on the other train down to Livingston. Let's go and explore and see what it's about. Well, that was really quick. If you're coming down to Livingston and you want to look around the little ships and things like that, straight out the station, turn left, uh, just follow that road for literally a minute, a minute and a half, uh, and then uh, you're here. Yep. There is a uh, sign towards the quay. Yeah, sign really well. Yeah, um, I've yeah. had to put my coat on because it's a bit chilly <laughs> down here. But it is February, what can you expect? Yeah, yeah definitely. Let's go and explore some more. Now, if you come down in season, you can get a puffin cruise around the... Uh, the local waters here which would be good but obviously not this time of year as it is February there's probably not much cool for it <laughs> nice and bright though it's a lovely sunny day here isn't it yeah it's But if you wanted to drive, there's plenty of parking. Just down here by the quay is long stay parking. I spotted a pub as well. Yeah, the ship in. The ship in. So I might have to have a little look at that later. Oh, that's going to be like. Maybe we'll re review it. But certainly for um, disability mobility, it's all nice and flat, isn't it? There's no yeah, real yeah, there's, trip there's, hazardy bits. There's a few little steps, but not too many. No. Good so far, so good, Limington. There's nice recreation ground right around the water. And for those subscribers of ours that love cruising just like we do, have you thought about buying yourself one of the yachts and uh, having it moored down here in Limington uh, Harbour and then going out whenever you want? Might work out a little bit more expensive though than cruising. Just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> might, might do. And you'd have to, you'd have to drive. Do you drive it? Pilot it? Yeah. No, there's no buffet. <laughs> no, no main dining room or anything. <laughs> it's a bit different. <laughs> but this is a really nice place to come. If you've got any questions, and uh, then do drop them below, and we'll try and answer them if we can about our day out in Limington. The only trouble with being down, down by the sea, smelling the lovely salty air and everything else that goes with the seaside. You want to um, you want to find a fish and chip shop, don't you? Get some get some salty chips with lashings of vinegar. Uh, sit down and just look at the water. Maybe that's what we should be looking for. Um, also for Limington, if you want, you can catch the ferry across the Isle of Wight. So you can come here, go across the Isle of Wight, have a day there, come back, maybe spend a couple of days. There is the White Funnel ferry coming from the Isle of Wight, uh, reversing into Limington to let everyone off. Left, left a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Okay, straight, straight. Yeah, must be tricky reversing one of those back in here. Maybe that's what we should do actually. Not reverse a uh, ferry, but go on the ferry and maybe do a uh, review of that someday. See if there's any comparisons to a cruise ship. I doubt it, but it'd be good to, to have a review of the ferry and across the island as well. Do you fancy doing that? Yeah, I like the Isle of Wight. And the ferry. And the ferry. The buffet. I don't know if they're the main dining restaurant. Theatre. I wonder what shows they've got. They'd have to be quick, couldn't they? It's only about 20 minutes, I think, in a half an hour or something. <laughs> what have we found here, Sarah? This is a uh, Limington seawater bath. So in the summer, it's, um, it's a really nice place to go. A bath with seawater? Yeah, and they have inflatables because it's been emptied at the moment. This is the bottom of it. Couldn't really splash around much, could you? But they, they have loads and loads of inflatables. It's good fun for the kids and adults, if you like that sort of thing. Um, there's a little shed here which you get food and um, ice cream. Yeah, food, drink, 
ice creams. Um, and round there is the prices. Shall we film the prices, do you think? Yeah, we're going to have a look at the prices. But can't you, you can just imagine, can't you, the noise in the summer holidays <laughs> of people having fun, kids bouncing around on the inflatables and everything else. They're just going to have to find some water, aren't they, from somewhere? Probably the sea. I think the <laughs> that's her title. <laughs> So now you've got the prices, the food and everything else that goes on here. We've just walked around the sea side of the, um, the bars to get another better look. It just seems really weird, doesn't it? Like it's abandoned or something, which I guess it is through the winter. But uh, yeah, this will be an incredible uh, lively place during the summer. And it's very popular as well and there's only a small car park so if you want to come down here the train might be a good option because it really does just take a few minutes to walk from the train station up to here. Now here's one for sale. Imagine yourself in the summer sunbathing off your own yacht. Very nice. I walk back up through the water into the town. It's a fudge shop. The smell is incredible. You know the smell of fudge, don't you? Just, oh, whether you can eat it or not, the smell is incredible. What do you think about the smell of the fudge? <laughs> there are. What I'd like to find is, yeah, it is. What I'd like to find is a fish and chip shop, I reckon. Have some chips and eat them by the water. If we can find one, we'll let you know where it is in case you do come down. Got a bin somewhere, I suppose, haven't you? Yeah, no, no, no. In fact, you've got a lockout too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandwiches and cakes. Let's go for a walk around the corner and I guess with any kind of seaside or sea place it's quite hilly isn't it so just for the, the review for any accessible things uh, it's a little bit cobbly it's not too bad but there is a hill so if you have mobility issues and you need someone to to push you they might need some good muscles that's all I'm saying other than that great well we found a fish and chip shop it wasn't far and we're no. back down sat on the bench Called Deep Blue. Called Deep Blue. Just in town. Not badly, not badly priced. We've got a can of drink and some chips. Two lots of chips, two drinks. Uh, £10, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. £10, so not too bad at all. So let's go and eat them, see what they're like. Well, chips are eaten and absolutely lovely. Just a quick stop to the public toilets, which are the best I've ever been in. <laughs> they were really clean, uh, smelled nice and everything. So well done to the um, Limington Council or New Forest District Council, whoever maintains these. Uh, yeah, really, really good. But the chips were excellent, brilliant value. Highly recommend them. Right, here we are, back at the railway station. Had a fantastic time in Limington, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, it was really, really nice. Good explore around, some nice chips, looking at some of those yachts. Um, definitely want to come back in the summer to the, um, the sea baths. Sea water baths. Sea water baths. I think that looks good fun. Inflatables yeah. and things like that. Uh, yeah, really, really good day. I recommend coming to Limington. See you next time.